So what's the big deal? Why should you bother with all of this? Why should you bother structuring your water? Well, number one, it tastes better. Your, your taste buds will tell you that it's wonderful. In fact, I remember I went traveling just for the weekend, came home, my wife picked me up at the airport, and I said, love, do you have any structured water with you? She did. I took a pint of it and glug, 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 glug. I just emptied the whole pint in my mouth in one go. Because when you get used to drinking this structured water, you want it and again and again. It's like spring or mountain stream water. It's, nature does this by itself. Like, for instance, when you are finding freshly condensing dew on cold surfaces in the morning, that water has been naturally distilled and then recondensed by nature. Or when you're at a mountain stream where the water is going through over rocks, across bending, twisting, it's, it's the vortexing and unvortexing, just mixing up that's what causes the clustering of the water that I illustrated earlier to come apart. So you now have small cluster water, low surface tension water, low ORP, I mean a more active ORP and less acidic water. All of that combined nature can do. But when you're getting water through the met metal pipe or concrete pipe that your city water supply gets to you, it's not going like this over rocks, it's in a straight pipe right angle turns, that is just not conducive to good energy water. In fact, there are some examples of what happens to water. Dr. Emoto took pictures of snowflakes of water that's been through not so happy things and more happy things. And it turns out that the water that's been um, talked to in positive manner or flowed in natural streams, that water forms snowflakes that are symmetrical hexagonal symmetrical. The bad or industrial or not so happy water turns out snowflakes that are crippled in various ways, distorted. The concept of implosion should be introduced here. When we say we structure the water or energize the water, we're not actually pushing stuff in. We're taking stuff out. It's an implosion technology, not explosion technology. And by that we mean instead of just pushing stuff that goes up to infinity, uh -uh, we're actually taking stuff that is in the water present and we're lowering it down asymptotically to zero. Sort of as if you wanted to take a shirt, crumpled and all, out of a dryer and you iron it. And then, then you have a perfectly ironed shirt ready to go. That's getting to zero distortions. When you iron this shirt the second time, you still have perfectly ironed shirt. So that's why you don't need to be afraid of dealing with these devices. The prills don't push more energy in. They take distortions out. In fact, I want to give you an illustration. Not long ago, I got a call from a homeopath, a doctor actually came from Israel, of all things. And he called and said, I want to tell you that I have, uh, that your prills have completely erased all the work I did on my patient. And it also cured him of the problem. Ta-da! <laughs> it was a great call. But the point is this. Homeopathy is based on subtle energy imprints on water. And that's what the prills did. Erased it. So if you think back about the snowflake illustrations that Dr. Masaru Emoto published all these pictures of uh, snowflakes rising from water that has been listening to good classical music or has been spoken to in positive terms with words like I love you, I respect you. Those were symmetrical, clean, undistorted snowflakes, whereas the ones that were I hate you or your name is Hitler and other, other negative emotional concepts thrown at the water, they created distorted, non-symmetrical snowflakes. So the, the why do we care? Well, you don't really know where the water's been, what it's been exposed to, how did it get to you. So if you put it into your prill jug and you drink it after that, that water has been erased. It's a perfectly ironed shirt, so to speak.
But what if you want to do a treat, clean structure, something else other than the drinking water? Ta-da! Here comes this device. It's called ADR4. You can see that there's a, an embossed surface. It has ADR4 on this side and it has nothing on this side. And the embossed side is the business side of it and this is where you want to put upon it whatever it is you want to treat. Of course not the prills, they're already treated, but let's just say that you have this let's just say you have this with you when you go traveling. So you can put a bottle of water, a glass of wine, a cup of coffee. You know when you're sitting in a restaurant and somebody brought you a cup of coffee that's been just warmed up in a microwave, you don't know it, you don't see it, but this thing will actually straighten out and restructure even microwaved water or microwaved food. So you can put this under a bowl of soup, uh, a plate of salad. I actually travel with this. I stick it in my breast pocket actually this way in the business side towards my heart and it's structuring all of my body fluids as they circulate. I, I remember actually I used it to uh, deal with pain because uh, some time ago I pulled a muscle shoveling snow believe it or not and uh, it was this shoulder and I was sitting with it like this and this device will straighten out the distortions. It's the Inside of it there are ceramics and magnets and some special patterns and they radiate upward into the space above it. So when you sit with it it will straighten out whatever distortions may be happening in your body or in the fluids that you set on top of it. And I tell you, this is a fun tool to bring to a party. You can pour a couple of glasses of wine out of the same bottle, treat one, not the other, and then to tell people to compare. They won't believe that it's the same wine. In fact, you can turn something that you would have paid three dollars for and uh, it will taste like you may have paid thirty-five. So that's that's my story about structured water. Structured water or energized water or you know structured maybe should have been called unstructured or destructured or erased or ironed or made perfect made whole maybe we should have been calling it the whole water anyway energized water is the term we've settled on you can find it at life-enthusiast.com look for the categories that say energized water or water energizing devices because we also sell water that's already been treated that you can just use straight as it is. This is Martin Pitella for Life Enthusiast Co-op. You can reach me at 1-866-543-3388 or www.life-enthusiast.com. Thank you.